Your brain is the most powerful it's weapon in the like world. Me, Once you put away your phones and your computers and all that shit we have nowadays, that's yeah, great. We're up to date. Your brain is the only thing you have when you're going through depression, when, you, when you're going through hard times, when you're going through death. Real life shit. You can't Google that shit, man. You're alone. You're alone. You may have a shrink you're going to. You may have a best friend you're going to. But there's 24 hours in the day where you're alone in this brain. And your brain is talking to you in all kind of ways. And it wants to control you and pull you in these different pockets. If you can't control your own brain and your brain controls you, you're fucked. You got to tell your brain where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to change that shit, man. Yeah, but you don't understand my life, dude. Yeah. I do. <laughs> That's the thing about it. I get that mentality. I once had that mentality that no one understands what the fuck I'm going through. And if you keep that mentality, you're going to stay in the same exact spot that you're in. You're never alone. Everybody's going through shit. So when people get this mentality of like, you don't understand me. You can throw a fucking rock to someone that can understand you if they're willing to break themselves down and stop hiding. A lot of people understand you. When that alarm clock goes off at 4 or 5 in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you want to go, the amount of pain involved, I'm not saying physical, I'm not saying you got to break yourself off. The amount of mental pain of how many times you're going to have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go. There's going to be more times you do something that, that you don't want to do than you are going to want to do it. The most important conversation is the one you have with yourself. You wake up with it, you walk around with it, you go to bed with it. Eventually, you act on it. Until you change the internal dialogue in your head, until you callous over the victim's mentality that the world is out to get you because of you are the only, you got to change that shit, man. You don't want to go run, you go run. You don't want to go swim, you go swim. You don't want to make your bed, you make your bed. You don't want to clean your house, you clean your house. You don't want to study, you fucking study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's going to suck. It's not going to be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. I had to stop giving a fuck about people. That was the biggest thing. I had to stop caring what people thought about me. I realized that everybody's fucked up. That's the one thing I realized. I walked around and I put these people on a, on a fucking pedestal. Everybody was better than me. So I can't tell you anything about me because you're going to judge me and I'm going to feel even worse than what I am. What I realized, once I calmed my mind down and sat back and looked at how jacked up this world is, once you realize that you are not alone, everybody that's talking to you about how jacked up you are, only thing they've done better than you is they've hidden their fucked up world better than you have. That's all they've done. There's so many times in life you don't want to be doing what the fuck you're doing. You can't just fucking quit. Remember this. This isn't a hobby. This isn't a fucking joke. It's a fucking lifestyle. So what you say to yourself is important. There's no fucking coach. There's no trainer to keep you going. It's only you. The whole thing is this. Don't say a word. Stay uncommon amongst uncommon people. You're never done. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. Stay hard. We all think about quitting when shit's hard. It's hard to process information during pain. Because that pain takes over and you can't think rationally. You're thinking about fight or flight. Save yourself. That's not a rational thought. It's not a thought that's going to get you through hard times. Most people fail that one second. So what happens, what I do, I start thinking logically. I calm my brain down because your brain just wants to get the fuck out. It's about gaining control of your mind, putting things back in the proper perspective, and then saying, I really do want to be here. And I'm going to have a bunch of these one seconds. And I have to learn to control these because if I fail, one of these one seconds, I will not be a SEAL. I will not be a doctor. I will not be a lawyer. I will not be whatever the fuck it is. It's all about your mind takes control of you. You have to say, fuck you. I run this motherfucker. How are you going to feel, man, when you accomplish this goal coming from that shit? 
coming from the fucking hell you came from. A lot of people start from a good starting point. They have a good foundation. What if you can surpass all of these motherfuckers? Until your mind is open to the possibilities that I can do this, you would never be able to do it. Once the mind starts to believe it can be achieved, it then, only then, does it start to break down tactically how we can do this. Until then, you're going to always lose. <laughs>